you are fired. This may seem like a funny line in movies and TV, but not so much in real life. Yet, if you are a business owner, a CEO, or a manager of some sort, you will probably will need to do this sooner or later. So, I'll leave you here five tips to help you with this difficult moment and make it uh, the less unpleasant weekend. Everyone deserves respect. No matter the reason you are firing someone, no matter what they did or how angry you are, you need to be respectful. You need to talk with the person in front of you with all the respect and care. So, be careful with your tone, and the way you say things. And please, please never skip the conversation. I'm telling you this because in many countries, all you need is a legal written document, a written document and handle that to the person. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else. But this is not good. This is disrespectful. They deserve to hear from you. They deserve that conversation, so never skip it. Empathy. Empathy is a, a word that enters our, our day-to-day -day vocabulary, everybody uses, but do you really know what it means? Empathy is not understanding the other or know what they are feeling. It's to try to feel like them. So when you need to fire someone, you can't just think how would you feel if you were fired. You need to put yourself on their shoes. Now imagine an extreme situation. Imagine that you are firing a single parent with, I don't know, three kids and no other source of income. You need to think, how would you feel if you were a single parent with three kids and no other source of income? How would it be? Would it be scary? Or oh, scared, sorry. <laughs> would you be angry? How would you feel in their place? And this is very important. This is very important because the person in front of you, they will feel this. They will know that you understand, okay? So be empathic, actively listen to them, give them time to process, and again, be respectful. Firing someone is a an one-on-one -on -one conversation. This may seem very obvious right now, but believe me, when you are very, very angry with someone, you may forget this. So never, ever, no matter what happened, do this in front of the team. Just call the person into your office or at least a room where you can talk alone. This is very important. This actually shows the respect and empathy we talked before. It's very tempting in some awkward situations and conversations that we go around the topic instead of being straightforward. You tend to avoid words, almost as if you want them to fire themselves or to guess what you have to say. Well, most of the times, Yes, the person in front of you, they, they know what you want to say, but it will not look good. You need to be clear in your message. I know it is difficult and that's why you should rehearse. You should uh, write down, I don't know, many ways to say what you want to say and 
train, try in front of the mirror, uh, record yourself, whatever you need, but do not avoid words. Be straightforward. Be very clear in your message. Don't make them feel confused or more scared than, it, than they should be. So I left this one for the last because it's a bit tricky. I just told you to be clear. And when I mean clear, it's for you to give the message. Look, you are fired because you did this or you didn't do that, doesn't matter, okay? So how would you do that without accusing someone, right? So let me, let me tell you, when I'm, I'm saying no accusations, what I really mean is do not fight. Do not enter those pointless discussions and arguments and people shouting at each other. It will take you nowhere. So avoid it. And the best way to avoid it is to be clear, is to be straightforward, short, sentences, very, very objective message. Now, there are situations that are very, very complicated, uh, like, I don't know, like stealing. Imagine that you work in retail, you are a manager, and you know that someone is stealing. You need to fire that person, but you need to tell them why you are firing them. And you should. And if you decided to call the police, if you decided to go to court, you should tell them all of that. Short, objective sentences, a clear message, and do not argue with them. Okay, just, okay, you are fired, you did this and that and that, and that's it. You listen if they want to defend themselves or if they start arguing and, and shouting at you. Avoid to answer or answer in the calmer way you can. This is very, very important and it actually will help you because you kind of disarm the other person. If you answer in the same tone, that will never end. If you remain calm, at least on the outside, things will be way more easier. Public speaking is not about going up on a stage, pick up a microphone and talk to large audiences. It's way more than that. When you are having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone, you are also speaking in public. The difference is the size of your audience. And they deserve as much respect, attention and preparation as any other audience. So make sure you understand them and make sure they understand you. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, just help us. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.